Agpac is the largest supplier of farm plastics in New Zealand. Over the past few years, they've taken steps to reduce the impact of used bale wrap on the environment. The company ventured into recycling in 2006, and that's given farmers a viable option for getting rid of the used plastic wrap. The main issue is that there's 4,000 tonnes of silage wrap plastic used every year on farms. Most of that is just being burnt or, or buried on, on farms. And what we've been running for the last four years is a product stewardship scheme to pick up this plastic and have it recycled. If you burn the plastic, for every tonne of polyethylene you burn, you're putting 1.7 tonnes of CO2 equivalent up into the air. If you're burying it, well, it's just going to stay there forever. And it's not a sustainable option, and it's not good environmental practice. It does vary from region to region, but since we've demonstrated that this is a sustainable program that we're putting in place, the legislators are actually looking at this to saying, well, there's a recycling program in place, and farmers should use it now. There's a user pay system. Uh, farmers have the option of buying a recycling bin, which helps them to get more plastic into each liner, which means they have less cost of collections overall at the end of the day. They don't have to use the bin, they can just use these liners. They pack them up with waste plastic. This is an on-farm collection. They ring their local collector, he comes and picks up the plastic, brings it to a location like here at Tai Tapu, where we have our uh, South Island baler and then all these liners get bailed up and then shipped off to the recycling plant for reprocessing here in New Zealand. And that's a first for New Zealand. Largely, none of this is uh, time specific when it has to be collected. So we can have this stuff collected in their quieter times, in the winter time. And it does give them additional employment opportunities and keep the guys busy during the off seasons. The first year we did our collections, we collected just nine tonnes around the whole country of the 4,000 tonnes. This year, in the seven months uh, for, from this financial year, we've now collected over 200 tonnes. How many uh, liners are you generally getting in each bale? Probably about uh, six, actually, so... OK, that's good. Yeah, the liners are getting full all the time, so we're not getting as many as we're used to. Right. We eight. It's working really well, actually. You know, we've had a lot of farmers that we've delivered uh, baleage to in the last six months that we uh, sell a bit of baleage to the west coast or the peninsula and every time the truck arrives they're sort of saying um, can we have a recycling bag as well. We live on the main road Takara, you know it's a pretty prestigious tourist spot and um, we don't like seeing the stuff laying over the fences so that's why we've got heavily involved and it's given us a good positive way to get rid of it. Yeah the baler, well you know that's obviously um, you know the next big step to trying to um, get the stuff around the countryside the most e economical way and I can see the baler um, probably you know being sited around uh, uh, New Zealand in about four locations so that we can compact it perhaps even on the west coast as it, as it grows. Essentially we're taking the bale, we're debaling it so we're taking the wires off then we're putting that onto a conveyor belt that takes it up and sizes the material basically shredding the material up. It then goes into a washing system, which is beating the product and, and smashing it about, submerging it, so that um, if there is any other uh, contamination, for example, like uh, PET, so if, there's, if there is a Coke bottle in there, that's going to sink out of it. But obviously we want to try and minimise that. And when the guys are breaking the bales open, they're trying to take out those things at that point. It's then going through a, what we call a float sink tank, into our drying system. From the drying system, it's then going across into silos, which are feeding the TVE Arama machine, which takes out any other plastics or contaminants such as paper or those sorts of things. But we certainly we can't have any metal going through that machine. It's got a metal detector on the um, on the conveyor belt and, and is uh, watched like a hawk. What we end up with is, is we end up with a small pallet that is effectively a replacement for virgin polymer. So virgin polymer is what the extruders will use to make various products, any products, uh, being film, um, they'll make uh, containers out of it, they'll use it as a, as a f uh, filler to make uh, bins and, and con all sorts of different containers. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.